How's it going everyone? Justin Gunnar here from State of Fitness. I'm here for the video of the month. I'm going to talk a little bit about nutrition and supplements made simple because there's so much information out there, a lot of good information, uh, but unfortunately it gets very confusing, especially for the everyday consumer um, that quite doesn't have the knowledge, uh, the education uh, to truly you know, sift through it and say, okay, this supplement's good, this supplement's bad, this nutrition is good, you know, I should follow this diet, I should follow that diet. So I'm going to make it real simple for you and I feel like even though it's simple, you guys should really take this and see the effectiveness of it. So let's go to supplements first. I wrote a blog about supplement, supplement essentials and they're really in my mind three essential supplements that just about any active person or inactive person really should be taking. Uh, we need essential oils. What I mean by that is omega-3s that can contain DHA and EPA. Uh, so those are the, some of the fatty acids that are in cod liver oil, fish oil, krill oil, all the marine oils. All those, you know, I think are great. I like cod liver oil in particular because there's vitamin D in it. Um, it has a very high amount of EPA and DHA, but any marine oil, I'm good with. Get a good dose of at least 300 to 200 ratio of EPA and DHA, and you've got a lot of good nutrients and a lot of good essential fatty acids. Why not just eat fish? Well, you're probably not going to eat fish every day and it's probably not as good uh, because there's a lot of mercury in it or it's going to be farm raised. So either way you need to take some type of marine oil supplement. Then I really recommend green food powders. There's a lot of different you know, green food powders, pills, you know, spirulina, corella, wheatgrass, or just things that have a ton of different green foods like CLGs and uh, you know, all different types of uh, green foods, vegetables, fruits. Those are all good. Get a high quality one. You know, I really like vitamin mineral green. That's my favorite but there's a lot of different ones, athletic greens. Just get a green food powder, some type of green food source in your body because you're not gonna get enough vegetables in. It's just very hard. If you are, phenomenal. I still probably think you should take it. Uh, so try to get some type of green food supplement. Why not take just a multivitamin mineral supplement? It's synthetic. You're just getting a bunch of vitamin minerals that you're probably just gonna go out in your waste product. We want real concentrated food. So green food supplement, powder pill is fine. Powder seems to be best bang for the buck. My third and final one for supplements is branched chain amino acids. There's a ton of information out there about amino acids in general that are fast digesting as compared to say a whey protein powder or chicken breast or something like that. That is very useful pre and post workout for fat burning, endurance, uh, helping muscle tissue uh, rebuilding, uh, giving you a little bit more energy. It's also good in, in uh, when you have times where you can't eat. So what I mean by that is Put a scoop of branched chain amino acid powder in some water and take it with you. If you know you're not going to be able to eat for six, eight hours, it's going to give you a little bit of energy. It's going to help muscle tissue break down, recovery. It's going to help uh, also keep the metabolism going because you haven't been eating any food. And it'll give you a little more satisfaction because you know, you're a little bit hungry. So those three supplements, you know, I think are very essential for anybody, especially if you're working out. After that. You know, a lot of them are bonus, don't spend any more money, and a lot of them probably aren't going to do anything good for you. But there are some other great ones, but those three are your base. Now as far as nutrition, you know, it, it's, it's so simple, yet we make it so complex. Don't worry about counting calories. Don't worry about you know, having a bunch of meals, you know, four, five, six meals throughout the day. Don't worry about eating every two, three hours. Just worry about consuming clean, whole food. So fruits, vegetables, no-brainer. Um, organic protein sources, chicken, fish, eggs, have the yolks, you need the fat, nuts, seeds, beans, don't have a lot of grains. I'm not a big person on grains, they're so denatured, they're so crappy because we, we beat them up and anyways 10,000 years we didn't even have grains. So we need meats, vegetables, fruits, nuts, a little bit of beans. If you're going to have grains, have sprouted grains, don't need much of it for your, for your energy, for your carbs, get some potatoes, get some quinoa which is really a, actually a seed and your fruits and vegetables. Drink tons of water, clean water that is, mineral water is great. A little bit of tea or coffee is great. Don't drink juice, it's all sugar. Eat the fruit, unless it's a very concentrated juice, like a tart cherry juice concentrate, pomegranate juice, you can have a little bit of that. But remember, it's sugar. Eat when you're hungry, stop when you're pretty satisfied, and once in a while you can splurge. It's as simple as that. You don't need to follow low carb, high carb, high protein, low protein. You don't need to do South Beach, or Atkins or whatever you're going to do. The only diets that work are the ones that you follow. If you follow South Beach to the T, they'll work. 
okay? But you're probably not going to because it's too hard to follow a diet. So don't worry about diets. Follow a lifestyle, eat clean food, drink lots of water. You'll be good to go. Hopefully I didn't give you too much information. I try to make it simple. Follow those steps. Be consistent with it. Don't overeat. Get good clean food in your body. You'll look the way you want to. Feel the way you want to.